Hi guys, welcome to another Xcode programming tutorial and we've got a lot to get through today. We're looking at local notifications, which are the notifications, well they, they're notifications, so they'll come up in notification center on your phone. Like when you get an email or a message, they'll also show on the lock screen. They can make a ding noise, add a badge to the app uh, icon on the home screen. And we're going to go through all of that. I'm going to go through three particular things, which is obviously implementing the actual notification. Uh, adding a sound and changing the text and everything. Uh, setting a date fit to go off, so we can set it to go, go off every five seconds, uh, every day starting from a certain date, that sort of thing. Things they're actually going to use. And how to badge the app icon and how to stop them recurring if you don't want them to recur after a certain period of time. A lot of complex stuff, so I'm going to go quite quickly. If you need to pause the video, do so. Uh, set, set it to 1280p or whatever the highest one is for this video so you can clearly see the code. I will post the source code to the 99 cents website, so check out the website. And that's 99 cents app development.com. The link will be in the description. Okay, let's get started. So, open up Xcode, create a single view application, and we're going to call it Notifications. I'm just going to do iPhone up to you. I'm using an XIB on Storyboard again up to you. We're not even going to be using designing an interface for it. And you just click create. Okay, uh, begin by going into your app delegate. This is all done in the app delegate. We're doing nothing with the view controller. So we need to go into the application did enter background method. And this is where we're going to put all the code. And essentially what we're saying is when the application did enter background, that's when the user presses the home button, they turn off their phone. As soon as the application, they quit the application, the application is entering background. So right as it's about to quit, it's going to run this method. And in this method, we want to say as it's about to quit, you know, five seconds after it quits, set a, not a notification to appear or, you know, on a certain date, do so. So that's why we're doing it in the app delegate in application did enter background. So we're going to begin by creating a date. So we're going to call it NS date. And we're going to call this notification date, you can call it whatever you like, equals, open two square brackets, NS date date. Careful not to type data because that does come up and they look very similar. Date by adding time interval. And the first thing we're going to do is set it up to come up with the alert three seconds after the application closes and then we'll do it so it comes up on a certain date. And we're going to, after three seconds, three seconds after the app closes, we're going to uh, set it off. So, day by adding time interval 3. If you wanted it to come up after 30 seconds, do 30. And that's essentially saying once you have th 3 seconds, uh, a time interval of 3, so 3 seconds after the application entered the background, then then we're going to do the notification. And we need to do a UI application. We need to set the application to have, um, I guess, a delegate to itself. So, UI application, and I'm going to call mine application, equals and just once go back it's UI application shared application so it means it'll run in the background essentially and then we need uh, to create a UI local notification and we'll call that notification equals two square brackets UI local notification alloc we need to allocate it to memory and then close that square bracket in it and then close the square bracket, semicolon. And we're getting a warning. Oh, I've done. I've typed "allo" not "alloc." And I uh, have. Don't call your your application application. Call it app applica applications already been used in um, the application to finish launching with options. So sorry about that. So just going to that code. So this is what your code should now look like. Let me give you a moment to catch up. You've declared a date, an application, and a notification. Essentially, what we're going to do is say, set up a notification for the application on the date. That's how it's going to work. So let's move on. So we need to do if notify, uh, if notification date, and, uh, sorry, no, if, if, wait, that was my, if notification, so you just, if, if there's a notification, pretty much, we need to do, Notify a uh, notification date dot fire date, and for some reason that's giving me not coming up with type ahead. Let's look at the code and see why it's not. 
I have. So, uh, sorry about that. The error is quite basic. Um, the, the issue is that, let me finish off the line and then I'll show you actually. Equals notification date. Uh, I'll type notification date. That should just be notification. Ah, uh, sorry. Notification dot fire date equals notification date. Then we need to do notification uh, dot time zone equals NS time zone zone default time zone, and that's just going to get the the time on the user's device. So if you had say set off the notification at three o'clock. And you didn't put that line of code in, it might set off at 2 o'clock if the user's in London, but 5 o'clock if they're in Israel. So, you need to put that in so it's just using the phone's time. That's really the easiest way of doing it. There's, there's more complex ways, but that'll work well. Um, and then we're going to do notification dot repeat interval. And that's how often it shall repeat. So, I want mine just to go once, so 0. I don't want it to repeat. If you want it every 3 seconds... Uh, five times, so second three, second six, second nine, after the app closes, you could do that if you wanted. I don't want mine to repeat. This is where if we had a date, we might want it to repeat every day, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. For now, we don't want to do that. And then we want to do notification dot alert body equals at talking mark, talking mark, close, uh, uh, semicolon. And this is where we put the text of the notification. So I'm just going to say, this is my first notification, exclamation mark. But whatever you want. So you might say, you know, you haven't visited the app for three days. Why don't you come back or something? And then we will do square brackets, app, schedule, local notification. And then we need to do the second one, not notifications notification and then we need to go like no notification we've created one of those called notification so that's all the code um well let's run it and see if it works so if i click run so i'll run it and then i'll quit it and then after three seconds the notification should appear then i'm going to show you how to add an image and sound custom image and sound okay so we just got a blank app i'm going to click home and watch the top of the screen and we should get a notification. There we go. If I click on it, it's going to take me back to the app. So let's uh, fiddle around a bit and add two more things. I'll show you how to add two more things. Okay, so if you want to sound, do notification dot sound name equals at talking mark, talking mark. needs to be a dot wave. So it could be alert sound dot wave. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a wave file, so I'm not going to show you how to do that. But if you had a sound file, you can put that in there if you want a custom sound. Otherwise, it's going to be the default ding, ding sound or whatever it might be. Okay, if you want a custom image, by default, it's your app icon is the image. If you want a different image for your uh, alert, then you can do notification dot uh, alert launch image. Um, that's going to show the 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 launch image so fiddle around a bit pretty much if you want to know what else you can change just type notification dot press the escape button and then scroll through all of these options and you'll see all, a few different things you can do with it uh, alert image alert body alert action so you want it actually uh, the, the title of it if you don't want it to be your app name so we can change that equals hello uh, and then we'll run that again and we'll just see if anything, nothing will change really. Except the title hopefully will change. Yeah, so that's the basics of the notification. Let me now show you quickly how to uh, set it to come on a certain date. So we're just going to create a date, uh, create a date formatter and then set it to go off on that date. And I'll also show you how to bed the app icon. So get rid of this first line of code ns date notification date and what we need to do is we need to create an ns string and we're going to call it string 
equals at talking mark talking mark semicolon and inside those talking marks enter the date you wanted to go off. So if I want to go off on the first of December, so you know I want to say happy December or something, I can put that there. And we need an NS date formatter. We'll call that formatter. And equals square brackets square brackets NS date formatter alloc init semicolon. And then we need square bracket formatter set date format. And then we need to set the type of date format. So at talking mark close talking mark end square bracket semicolon. And then within those talking marks, I'm going to do month so mm slash capital mm slash two d's dd slash uh and i've done the full year 2013 not 13 so y why 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 and that that'll set the format to be the month then the date and then the year as i've done in my string and then ns date and we're going to call it the same as before notification date equals formatter date from string and the string we created was called string. Um, if I run it nothing's going to happen but what that will do is on the 12th of December 2013 it's going to show that alert and then I could set it to repeat uh, the repeat interval to be every day um, I need to then add uh, if I wanted it to be every day, I could do NS calendar, uh, sorry, NS day calendar unit, or NS week calendar unit if I wanted to go off every week. Um, up to you though. I'm going to go back, how many times can I control Z on this? I'm going to go back to where we had it before and quickly show you how to badge the app icon. Which is really easy to do. All you need to do is uh, notification sorry notification dot application icon badge number equals and then an integer so a number one you could have an integer saved in ns user default so every day they don't open the notification it adds an extra one to the badge uh yeah again up to you now oh, there's the uh badge so then it should yeah there you go you got the number one when the notification appeared that's really basic uh local notifications for you and those are only local, so you can't send them out with a web server. I mean, you could. We're doing a web server is a bit different. So if you have local notifications, you know, uh, come back to the app. We haven't seen you for a while. Or there's a new free app waiting for you if you had a free app every day app. So they're really useful. I'd love to hear your thoughts on them and how you would implement them. So let me know in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe to this video. And check out our website, 99centsappdevelopment.com. Links in the description. And like us on Facebook. Until next time, goodbye. I'm looking forward to next tutorial. I've got an exciting tutorial. I won't give it away yet. And if you do have any tutorial suggestions, let me know. We've got a tutorial bonanza this week. We're releasing 15 of the top uh, requested tutorials. So, see you next time.